Hello, so let's talk about the meta right now and what's going on in the leaderboards. I'm gonna check some of the builds, but I'm only gonna say the main idea of the build, not gonna get into it. And maybe a little bit later into the season, I'm gonna do some build guides. But remember guys, you can always inspect those people and just copy paste them. So let's start with the physical and that's gonna be Wineblade. For the Wine Blade, you really want Moon Halo, it's either Transcended one or non-transcended one. Without this, Wine Blade is not gonna be as good. For the Wine Blade itself, you want Verity Awakening. And another thing is of course Shadow Links. Most of the builds that right now are in the leaderboards are with shadows. So for the shadow you want to have Source Awakening. Another thing for physical builds specifically would be low armor on your illusion axis to increase your single target damage because it can only apply one stack at a time so it doesn't matter if you hit uh, 10 enemies or 20 enemies you're only gonna be able to apply one stack to one enemy so it's only good for single target damage another thing that's going on right now is area of effect basically most of the skills that has area of effect tag right now is really strong because you have so many zodiac nodes that increases your area of effect your skill can become as big as your screen another current thing for most of the builds uh, is actually shadow provocation so basically you can keep up your shadow provocation to 100% uptime when your shout, shout duration is more than cooldown it's basically gonna be 100% uptime because the cooldown starts not when the skill ends, but when you press it. So, for the area effect tags, you can actually search them on your zodiacs. If you write down area of effect in the search bar, press enter, you're gonna see every single area of effect node. And I highly suggest to pick those up. Because you can pick up so much right now, it's gonna help you with your clear tremendously. Frost Strike is another one. Let's inspect this guy. This guy is doing barrier build, but you don't have to. So for the Frost Strike, the main idea is to awaken it to source. It doesn't have any uniques that you need to have. There is a neck. But that neck doesn't do much to you right now because you can get so much area of effect from zodiac nodes It's basically damage loss Of course another thing is shadow awaken it to source for even more area effect What I want to point out is also focus at strike. It's really good one for the blow skills use that one and We can see it's again shadow provocation. That's nothing nothing crazy he is using Illusion Access to extract Lightning Energies to basically apply the Shock. This is, this is not a bad idea, this is not a bad idea. For the weapon, you can use Blunt for damage shaken dampening if you want to survive more. And everything else is basically up to what you can craft. Wheel Slash is another one, but it's hard to scale damage with the Wheel Slash. So the main idea is to awaken your Wheel Slash to Verity for two extra dot stacks, and then use Shadow Awaken it to Source for some damage amplification. So the problem with the Wheel Slash is you only have seven stacks, and your Shadow can stack extras. So whenever you're using Shadow, you don't increase your single target damage, but you increase your map clear by quite a bit because whenever you cast your real slash, you apply two stacks instead of one with the shadow, which helps with the map clear a lot. So, you, of course, I would highly suggest to focus on damage acceleration. For the real slash, this is basically the main one. Another thing is, you want as much weapon range as you can as you can have and piercing eye is basically the best one for that i highly suggest to get that one or any other unique that has weapon range otherwise wheel slash is not that good for the map clear poison rain of arrows is really good too 
what you want to do with that, you want to awaken it to origin for area damage amplification. You want to have multi-shot and stack area effect. And you want to have basically as many projectiles as you can as as much area of effect as you can. Because at some point, those projectiles are going to start to overlap on one target and your single target damage is going to skyrocket. Of course, you want Shadow Link, Awaken it to Origin or to Verity. I would say Verity is a little bit better for extra projectile count. Another thing is Deadly Poison and you want to Awaken Deadly Poison to Verity to apply Venom Rate. I want to talk about something else on this one, is how he applies bleed on his elemental build. And that works both ways. So the main idea is to pick up a node that applies portion of your damage as physical damage. So even though he does poison damage, some portion of the poison damage is applied as physical damage. That means when he has a little bit of poison damage and that poison damage has a little bit of physical damage, what you need right now is to get a dot rate or extract lightning energies for status, status effect. The status effect rate. That means that Portion of his physical damage right now can apply the bleed. That's how he applies bleed with his poison build basically. You can either pick up lightning energies for the status effect rate, or you can find some zodiac nodes that has like dot rate or has bleed rate. But remember, main idea is to actually have a little bit of uh, physical damage on your build. Through Zodiac Nodes or through Lacrima. And I want you to show the same build but converted to, phys to physical damage. So right now his build does only physical. And right now he needs additional poison damage on every hit. And this guy does it on his Lacrima. Do you see? Additional poison damage on every hit. That's how... He applies Venom, even though his main skill does physical damage. Same idea. It's vice versa. Which one is better doing elemental or physical? I can say it for sure. It's more like how you build your how you build your character. This guy pushes a lot of physical damage with Poison Rain of Arrows, but it's only because his items are insane. It's not necessary because of the physical build. Another one is Verven Slash, but for the Verven Slash you need Castle Refractor, Transcendent or Non-Transcendent one. By the way, Castle Refraction Ring itself is really good, you're gonna see that a lot of people using that. And the main idea is because it gives you base critical rate, so it's really easy to cap your critical rate, remember that one. People are stacking Fire Energy effect on their items, that's another one that they are abusing. Because you can sack so much fire energies that you actually start getting like three times damage multiplier from your fire energies. That's another thing. So basically, Verwin Slash, you need the Castle Refraction Ring. Awakening on Verwin Slash is not priority, but it's verity. You can leave it for the last because it doesn't add you any damage. But do not awaken to, to any other ones because it's going to break the build. So Castle Refraction basically makes your Verwin Slash uh, track the targets. Basically all your Verwins right now gonna be on one target. It guides Verwin Slash projectiles to the enemy. For that one you want to stack projectiles and pierce count. So multi-shot, piercing, source awakening, and pierce wound verity awakening. That would be the main idea. He has charge release, but it only has charge release basically for, for extra map clear. For the single target itself, you actually want to use only Villain Slash, and if you're mapping, you can add charge release. Charge release is it's 
the same as any Charger Lee Source Awakening, and then you stack. He has it converted to physical damage because he does basically only physical. Again, we can see Blood Explosion. He does the same stuff, converted to fire to extract fire energy. Same idea. Shield Strike is another one. Shield Strike is kind of interesting, but for the Shield Strike you need uh, Levels Roll, either Transcendent or Non-Transcendent ones. And these boots gonna increase your clear so much, that's what makes Shield Strike really good. Of course, again we have Shadow Link, Awakening to Origin. Shield Strike, Awakening to Origin. And... Uh, Everything else is kind of default. As you can see, he he has it converted to poison damage, but you can do it physical. It's not a big deal. Again, you want to stack as much area effect as you can from your uh, from your um, zodiacs. So this basically wraps it up. Of course there is more builds, but I'm basically only show the ones that scales really good right now. Probably we're gonna see many more going later into the into the weeks, into the season. But for now, that's all I wanted to show you guys. GDs have fun, have fun grinding. Remember that you can inspect any build that they showed you today. Just find some peeps on the leaderboards, copy their zodiacs, and you're gonna be good. Later I'm gonna try to push those builds on YouTube, but for now, have fun, and see you in the next one.